Hey, it's Keto Granny. And I wanted to show you something that I found in the grocery store. It's the first time I, that I had seen it. But it's a keto-friendly bread. And I have seen the different breads that everyone is talking about. The solar bread, S-O-L-A, solar bread, and different things like that. So this is a keto-friendly bread, and I just thought I would buy it to actually try it. Now, normally, I do not buy breads um, that say they are keto-friendly or keto breads. For the simple fact, most of the time, they are not. Um, I like to make my own breads, and that way I know exactly what I'm getting when I'm eating bread that I know is keto or keto friendly. Now this bread is by Oasis and it says keto friendly all natural sprouted wheat bread low carb flax seed. And there was another bread um, Dave's Killer Bread and it was a sprouted uh, wheat bread. But this is all natural sprouted wheat bread and if I try this bread, I'm going to try this bread, I'll let you know how it tastes. And also, um, I'll let you know about the ingredients in the back, because already looking at it, I can see some things that I normally would not eat on the ketogenic diet. But this bread says that it's keto-friendly, seriously good, since 1978 they've been making it. <laughs> 50 calories per serving, one slice equals one point. Low carb flaxseed, 200 milligrams of omega-3. So it sounds like it's a really good bread and it is something that I'm going to try. So one slice has about a half a gram of fat, um, seven carbs, seven grams of total carbs with one of those being fiber so that makes six. Um, includes zero grams of added sugars protein four grams um, and then let me see if you can see the ingredients but these are the ingredients that it has in here so as you can see some of those things I eat some of these things are keto friendly but some of these things are not keto friendly I'm gonna give you a better review on this later but this is something that I picked up as part of my um, grocery haul today I found like I said I found some pretty interesting items so I hope this bread tastes okay um, I will let you know I did compare it to the other bread um, Dave's killer bread and it's a lot lower in carbs than that bread is now I got my spinach I always have to have my spinach and usually I like the Popeye brand um, I do buy other brands of spinach at times but this one is triple washed and um, it's a superfood, as everyone knows. Um, spinach is a superfood, and that's something that's very, very good to eat on the ketogenic diet. You can use it for smoothies, you can use it in gravies and sauces, um, you can use it um, a side dish, you can eat it raw, you can eat it uh, sauteed. So it's a very versatile dish, and it has lots of potassium, lots of electrolytes um, in it. So it's something very good to eat on the ketogenic diet. And I eat spinach a lot. Uh, actually tonight that's what I'm having for dinner. It's going to be a spinach smoothie. Now this is an Asian chop kit. And this is a salad. What I like to do at times is just buy a bag of salad and try to eat that bag of salad. If not that day, I'll finish it off the next day and then start on a new bag of salad. Now here lately, I didn't have... Uh, the appetite for vegetables so I kind of laid off to my vegetables so I'm upping my vegetables again because I feel like that's something that I need to do so I wanted to share with you some of the items that I bought these are some things that you can also buy on the ketogenic diet and there are things that are easy to make uh, easy dishes and there are things that um, are keto friendly and I just wanted to share these with you now I just got through talking about the bread because I like I said I usually don't buy keto bread but I did buy that keto bread and I am going to try it and when I do try it I'm going to let you know how it tastes. Now these are some of the things that I picked up this time. I picked up some uh, tuna and I picked chicken of the sea, uh, the chunk light tuna and I got the tuna that was in the oil is the one that I like to use and tuna is very good. You can um, use it to make tuna salad um, you can um, just make your tuna and fix it you know how you fix your tuna and eat it on a lettuce leaf and 
Uh, or you can just eat your tuna out of a bowl or you can eat it on a bed of lettuce and or you can eat it in a salad. So there are many ways that you can use tuna fish on the ketogenic diet. Now I saw some spam and my husband wanted this and I looked and I said this is something that I can also eat on the ketogenic diet. So I got some spam and I'm going to have some spam um, on the keto diet and I, I'm going to I'm going to really enjoy that when I have that. Now this is some white chicken um, that I'm going to use um, for chicken salad and this comes in very handy you can get it already canned and everything and you can have that but you also can boil your own chicken and make your um, chicken salad now these are some sardines and these aren't tomato sauce now I won't eat a lot of the tomato sauce I don't even know how I'm going to do with the sardines because I don't normally buy sardines I saw those sardines and I said, I know sardines are good for you. I hear everyone talking about that. So I bought some and I'm going to try the sardines. I know my mother used to love sardines, but I did not like those things. I tried them then and I didn't like them. But I'm going to try them again because, you know, sometimes your taste buds change as you grow older. Now, this is some coconut milk, premium light. And I use this um, in uh, with my chia seeds a lot to make uh, pudding. So that comes in handy with me for that type of thing. This is some Fleshman's or Fleshman's active dry yeast. And I use this um, when I'm making keto breads and different things like that. And I mainly use it for the taste because with a lot of the keto dishes that you make, the flour that you use, almond flour and things, they don't rise. So I use that mainly for flavoring and different things like that. Here I have my monk fruit sweetener. And this is the classic the one that replaces the white sugar but you can also get this where it's the uh, um, golden and that's uh, like it uh, replaces like your brown sugar here is moon cheese now I have this as a snack and this is a snack that is made from nothing but cheese I've never tried these these are the gouda this is the gouda flavor and this is made from gouda cheese pasteurized milk cheese culture salt and enzymes but it only has five grams of fat, um, the carbs, no carbs, and five grams of protein. So this is something that you can eat on the ketogenic diet. And like I said, it's made out of 100% cheese. So it is something that is very, very keto friendly. Now, I have never tried uh, the Primal Kitchen Mayo. And I was able to find some at the store. So I decided to get in. This is the one that's made with avocado oil. Primal Kitchen's... Um, make a lot of keto friendly foods and a lot of people uh, buy their keto foods from, from Primal Kitchen. I also saw this and this was uh, Alfredo sauce um, that you can use with the fettuccine noodles. So I did get this. I got several jars of this because I wanted to try it and it looks like it ought to be very very good. It's no dairy Alfredo sauce and it has avocado oil. So it's something that should be very, very good and it's very keto friendly. Now also, I got me some packets of, uh, what I'm say, packets of tuna, Star Kiss tuna, um, also of chicken, um, also of salmon. So, and this is by Evu. So these are some things that I'm going to be using a lot. Um, this month on the ketogenic diet, like I said, I'm dealing with the quarantine 15. So just like everyone else, I'm trying to lose the weight that I have gained during the quarantine. Um, I found these and these were the first time I've ever saw these palm crisps, but these are very, very good. And these are also made out of nothing or made out of cheese. These here are made out of aged Parmesan cheese, um, part skim milk, cheese cultures, salt and non-enriched rennet i believe it says and jalapeno contain some milk um but these palm crisps are very good they come in several flavors let's see i have here this is the jalapeno this one is the original and then i have one that's parmesan this one is sesame and so this one is the jalapeno so the one that i have tried then is the jalapeno and these are so good i use them in my salad and i use them like breadcrumbs and put them in there and boy was it delicious it was so delicious so that is something that you can also do on the ketogenic diet now 
I have been um, like craving gravies and different things like that. So I've been looking and what I did this time was just buy me some little packets of like the chicken gravy and things like that. It does have um, uh, some things in there that I wouldn't normally, but that so some of these other things that I tried to say keto friendly. So I bought this so I can make me a little bit of gravy. Just don't overdo it with this if you try it. And this um, guacamole mix. And I use guacamole mixes a lot because um, I love avocados. And here's here's my avocado that I bought. Now I was buying a lot of avocados at a time and they were spoiling a lot and spoiling fast. And I was basically just wasting a lot of money. So now I, I have decided that when I decide that I want salads and different things like salads and avocados, I am going to buy them on an as needed and a fresh basis if I have to go out and buy them daily or every other day that's what I've decided to do with those type of items of vegetables here also I have my swerve and I like to do a lot of baking sometimes with the keto diet and I like to use the swerve here is some monster cheese that I have also of course my strawberries I love my strawberries my grandbaby She's already started on these. Um, I go through a lot of strawberries and berries. So I try to keep those on hand. Here I have some coconut aminos. And these are really, really good to put on my foods also. And as you know, we all need aminos, amino acids. Here are some chicharronis. And these are just crackling curls. And this is um, basically pork skins. Some people eat pork skins. Some people don't. I do. Mozzarella cheese. Now, this is just the regular mozzarella cheese. Some people who do keto wouldn't use this type of mozzarella cheese because um, it has, what, anti-cake, potato starch, little stuff like that in there. But I use this, and it works very well for me. Um, I don't know if I could, I don't believe it kicks me out of keto or anything like that. But also, from time to time, I like to, to treat myself. And my treats are sugar-free jello. So you can buy pre-made sugar-free jello, or you can make your own sugar-free jello. Here I have my avocado oil, and you can use this to um, put on your salads. You can use this to cook with. And as you can see, it says high heat, 500 degrees Fahrenheit. So you can use this to fry with and different things like that on the ketogenic diet. So that's just a few of the items that I picked up. I picked up some meats, but those are already in the refrigerator. And I wanted to share those with you because you, there are a lot of different things that you can buy on the ketogenic diet. And these are just some of the things that you can buy. And they are good foods to eat. They're nutritious. And also, you lose weight eating these type of foods. So I hope that some of these foods that you'll try, and if you try some of them, um, leave comments below, especially the parm crisp. I really enjoyed those in the salad that I made today. And I am going to post a picture of that salad because these parm crisps were very, very delicious. And the ones that I used were the jalapeno. And I mean that salad was so good and so delicious. So it's something that I'm going to be doing uh, from now on. Now, I used to make the crackers and I would make that with cheese. With these parm crisps, you can use these as crackers and you get to have 15 of the small wafer sizes per serving. So it's very filling. And also sometime what I did, what I've done with these parm crisps is put a little bit of cream cheese on them and they make an excellent snack. I'm going to also post pictures of that here at the end. But this is Keto Granny saying, um, when you go out and do your grocery haul, make sure that you read the labels to make sure that you're not getting things that are going to throw you out of ketosis or that have a lot of uh, sugars, hidden sugars and different things in them. Make sure you read your labels so that you know what you're buying. This is Keto Granny. Until next time, Keto on. And I do better when I'm able to go out and exercise, go out and walk and different things like that. Being inside and being around um, all those foods, I find myself nibbling and doing that also. So if you have done the same thing, if you've gained any weight, just get back on board. Um, get back on your diet, get back to your intermittent fasting and your exercise, and you'll start seeing results again. This is Keto Granny. Until next time, have a great evening. Bye-bye.
This is what I'm starting my breakfast off with this morning. Having three um, medium sized strawberries along with some Parm Crisp. Parm Crisp with some uh, chive um, cream cheese. These are the Parm Crisp. Made from 100% cheese, oven baked Parm Crisp. And I'm going to show you the back of this so that we can get an idea. About three servings per container, and I used about 10 chips instead of 15 chips. And they have a serving, it's 15 chips. It has, let's see if I can get this where it's not so distorted. Seven grams of fat, no carbs, and nine grams of protein. So I haven't had quite a serving, and then I have about two tablespoons of the chive uh, cream cheese on a palm crisp crackers. But this is something that you could have as a snack or as a breakfast. I'm using it for my breakfast this morning. And um, I'm going to have lemon water or apple cider vinegar with this today. So this just gives you an idea of something that you can have quick. Not very many calories at all, but you're getting your protein, you're getting some carbs, and you're getting your fats.